HSK grammar, HSK 语法 ，HSK 四级语法，以来 ，ever since since 以后 ，after。First， 以来 means ever since when it is used after an event or a time frame， and it usually goes with 自从自从。Or similar words, before the time or the event, and it is very formal in this way. Also, it is better in written language. And the structure is like first, 自 or 从 or 自从 plus a time frame or event plus 以来 So the starting point for 以来 is actually the beginning of the time frame or the event when it happens. So which means it includes the starting time when the event happens. This is very important. Let's see examples. 长期以来，他一直是学生。最喜欢的老师，长期以来 ，meaning it has been a long time. He has long been a favorite teacher of his students. He has long been 长期以来 Next one, 开学以来，我还没有跳过舞呢 I haven't danced since the beginning of the school. Since the beginning of the school, 开学以来，入冬以来，天气一直很冷。The weather has been very cold since winter. 入冬以来 ，since winter. 今年一月以来，已经下了五场大雪。There have been five heavy snows since January. Of this year, 今年一月以来 if you add 从自 or 自从从我今年七月开始工作以来，一直很忙 I have been very busy since I began my work in July this year. 从什么什么什么以来 since. Beijing has been the capital of China since the ancient times. Since the ancient times, so including ancient times. Since we moved to Beijing ten years ago, this is the event. Beijing. Great changes have taken place in Beijing since we moved to Beijing ten years ago. Since we moved to Beijing ten years ago, 自我们十年前搬到北京以来，自从一九七八年改革开放以来，中国的经济有了非常大的发展。Since the reform and opening up in 1978, China's economy has developed greatly. Since reform and opening in 1978, since event, 自从 plus event plus 以来 for a time interval only, 以来 can be replaced just by. Lay, so the structure would be a time interval plus lay. It is only used in this situation. 三年来，他一直坚持锻炼。三年来 meaning has been three years. So he has been exercising for three years. 三十年来，中国的房子价格一直。在涨 ，house prices in China have been rising for thirty years. 
for thirty years. 三十年来，几个月来，我在工作中学到了不少东西。For months, 几个月来 ，I've learned a lot in my work, in my job. Second point, 以后 means after when it is used after an event or a time frame. And the structure is time frame plus or event plus 以后 and if you add 自从自从 before the time frame or event, it also means things. And the difference would be the time can't start after the time frame or the event. So compared to 以以来 starting from the beginning of that event or time frame. Also, like 来 time frame plus event plus 后 just like 以后 just like 以后 examples. 吃过饭以后，我去了图书馆。吃过饭以后，我去了图书馆。After dinner, I went to the library. 长大以后，我去了北京。When I grew up, or after I grew up, I went to Beijing. 放学以后的 event， 以后我直接坐公共汽车回家。After school is over, I went home by bus directly. 自你离开以后，我一直很想念你。I've always been missing you since you left. 自你离开以后 ，since you left. 自去年分别以后，你现在还过得好吗 ？Have you had a good time since we parted last year? Since we separated last year? <音>自从他的爸爸去世以后，他就懂得了许多东西。He has learned a lot since his father died. 一年后，他去了美国。So one year later, he went to America. 一年后，我打算去美国。I plan to go to America in one year. So this is for future difference. One 以后 can be used for future, but 以来 cannot. 你吃过饭以后。轮到我这儿来一下吗 ？Can you come to me after dinner? This is a future action. 我打算工作一年以后买车，五年以后买房。I plan to buy a car after working for one year, and to buy a house in five years. 明年八月以后，他就去北京学汉语了。After next August, he will go to Beijing to learn Chinese. Second difference. 之后，过后 is similar like 以后 but 以来 do not have such thing as 之来 or 过来 with a similar meaning. So 放学之后，放学过后，放学以后。你准备去哪里 ？Where are you going after school is over? So all this is the same meaning. 之后，过后，以后 ，but you cannot say 以来，之来，过来。No. 早上锻炼之后，早上锻炼过后，我就去工作了。I went to work after exercise in the morning. 自从分别之后，过后，我就一直忙工作，都快把你忘记了。I have been busy with my work since the separation. I almost forgot you. Thank you very much.